Now, we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue, because everything's going to go just fine. The, um... The uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep, no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes. Toe, McGreary, take the van. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. Driver drives. Get in. F, come on, get in. Okay, I'm back. I got the tank. Toe, the McGreary, the zone. take the van. And we're going to continue on with part three of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 5. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only. Go. Picture. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. Yeah, okay. So we're off to do the Vangelico jewelry store heist. Because we need to pay off Martin Madrazo, the not-so-nice Mexican mobster whose house we tore down. Listen. Which cost I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I'd improve myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. What you got to worry about? I don't know. I ain't done any real work in years, you know? So I'm giving half the take to guys who are supposed to be the best in the business. All right. Then it's all taken care of. You on top of shit? Yeah, do I need to give 12% to a gunman? 14% to a driver? 15 to a hacker? And that's on top of all the other outlays. I feel like a chump buying myself a score. Shit. I guess we'll find out if they worth it, right? The more you use your crew members, the more their skills will improve. Their cut will not change. In other words, when you use them in previous heists and when you, you want to use them in the next heist, they're not going to ask for a bigger cut. Their cut will remain the same. Still all the gems and the stones. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, the give us the word. For the sure, man. Metals. I got it. Well, here we go. So, Franklin, I've got samples of the uh, knockout Excuse gas me. canisters. Exterminator! And our cover, of course, hey, is. There ain't no one around. As pest control Come personnel. On, get up to the roof. So, using Franklin, I'm to throw in the gas canisters into the vent of where the air conditioning system is. And that will calmly put the people out. So we're on a time frame, so let's do this. Get your ass out of here! Careful, I don't want to go off the ledge and fail the heist. So keep going. Hot, hot. If you're stalling, Michael will call you on the radio and see what ask you what what is the hold of. So. Almost there. 
We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. So I'm gonna get in the position. Up there? Sit tight. I thought that could have been delayed, so here we go. Getting into position. I got an angle. Let's get a good aim. Ready? Fire. Damn, missed. One more time. Get in there. There we go. That was it. They going out. Do you love her? Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told him to fix that goddamn AC! What's going on? There you go, dropping like flies. Thanks to the knockout gas thrown into the air conditioning. Let's go. There go, 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 go! Let's do this, kid! Make it time. Smash, smash, smash and grab, smash and grab, smash and grab, smash and grab. Hit the run, 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 hit the run. 90 seconds? Alright, that's why we pay you what if we If you do. went with that other hey, guy, you would have died. Let's do it. Like barely a minute. This one's done. Let's go, let's go. And if you chose come an on, inferior crew. A minute left. Okay, let's hurry up. You keep handling the merch like that, you're gonna earn your 12%. We going big! These guys got stock! All right, that's our target. Keep it up. See how much we can get. We're getting it all. Grab it and move. Let's go. We're it all. We're taking it all. Empty. Forty seconds. Okay, we're almost got one last one. Here. Home stretch. Here we go. Last we're one. We're on the clock. That's it. All right, we cleaned them out. Let's get out of here. Five million dollars worth of stock. Bye bye. Twenty seconds. So for the last time, move it. Hey, get the fuck out my face. Oh. Get a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. See you at the river. Go. Let's go. Come on. Stay on me. Cross here. Let's go. Hard left here. Going on the big road. This is where Franklin's special ability comes in. Plays into the heist. He has the ability to slow down the speed, so he can make the sharp turns before anyone else. And also avoid going into cars. But you also gotta be careful because when it wears off, you can go head on into into a tree, a wall, or whatever. So keep that in mind. Let's do this. Plus, you gotta keep in mind that the cops are behind you; they can rear end you and then kill you. In addition to firing up off. Guns. So you gotta follow Eddie Toe. And depending on if you chose, if I chose a substandard driver as part of the crew, I would have got really horrible bites. So if you think about it, if you're checking a crew that takes a small cut and they're not any good, it's a risk they're willing to take because they're going to drop the loot. Plus they get picked up by the police or they end up in the hospital. You got to pay for their insurance. Even though you would get more money. It is what it is. So we're going right into the tunnel that the police can't get through. Police will never come through the tunnels unless by foot. Coming out to the LS River, which is the LA River in real life. Gas can 
for us at the lockup. be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We did it, baby. We did it. Yeah. Oh, I'm Get doing some me. rails tonight. Oh, one step closer to retirement. Ooh, right, over. It was a good takedown. Here's to the first of many. In you come. Come on. It's a woman's all right. <laughs> All right, people, we need to split up. They're going to be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. This shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we got to clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. OK. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. Take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow 
Come on, stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh -huh. I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You are. Hey. I feel like we haven't seen each other in forever. You want to have some dinner later? I'd love to, but you know, yoga waits for no one. Another time. I know what's up. You're messing around with other men again. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. It's cracking. So, are we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ate right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? This is Dave Gordy, FBI Long time no guy. see. Retired well, what FIB about Trevor? guy. If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are dead. There's some stuff I'm gonna have fucked. to actually blur don't worry out about for Trevor. You too. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. <laughs> really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, he pushes me over and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. Sugar. It's pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. Tre Trevor, baby, you wanna, you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny, don't do it. Trevor! You so now girl again. we're introduced to a third wheel. You, Don't do it, Johnny. Grand Theft Auto V. Trevor, Trevor Phillips. We all get high. His old rookie, we all get Michael Townley, Michael right. Santa's old Leave running it. buddy. Crystal has got us, baby. Who just Don't learned right. that? Don't make nothing right. Michael you done with me? I'm telling you, Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. And as I mentioned before, characters who appeared in Grand Theft Auto Four. Fucking up here girl, in Grand Theft Auto 5. In this case, oh, Johnny Clevitz, the leader someone. of the Lost Motorcycle Club, Liberty City chapter, who have now, yeah. along with his lady Ashley Butler, you think this is funny? Get them off! had relocated to the West to Coast, it, I told San Andreas, him. Leave it. Leave Blaine it. County. Shut up, Ron. However, I'm they become addicted to crystal meth. Me meth, that ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums. And Trevor, he's really Fuck a you, Trevor. psychopathic oh. character. I still love her. Psychotic. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just I know. I'm messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you 
speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? Fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Yeah, he's got a lot of anger issues. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Fuck. And this is Trevor's circle now, of we gotta speak associates. To Johnny's recently bereaved brother. Nervous Ron Jakowski, his second in command, and Wayne, Wade Herbert, his illegitimate son, or kind of like a son, a meth addicted subordinate of Trevor Phillips. And Trevor is actually a drug runner and a gun runner. Wait! This ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh my cousin's there, but I don't Find him! Wait! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. That what was entirely What an idiot. Fault. His methods made of that person stupid. Now Trevor's character is inspired by so many real life people. Actors, whoa, whoa, particularly whoa, Jack Nicholson. Whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. <laughs> Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you mess him with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? <laughs> Sorry. What was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party I left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Well, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, Now we gotta wipe out the lost, lost motorcycle club. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. Sure about that, Chuck? Watch this. The I had to systematically the buff them off. There's a better gun than this. See the look on their faces? We scared them. <laughs> we scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need some feet belts back here, or, or straps, or something. I only keep things in the back I don't mind losing. Oh. Yeah, like you gotta slow it up, man. That's a sharp left. Arrow there we go. Arrow. Perfect. Arrow. I can't see us taking out all the bikers disco, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by that... If not today, their time will soon be upon them. So right now we're focused on Trevor. You keep left. We you might, might be able to jump across Michael there. Michael is dead. Who makes the set? Hi! Or Next time you fall out, make sure you die. Uh-huh. Go away. Alrighty, Root! Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. 
You think they sabotaged this truck? I don't want to hear another peep! Make sure. Once you know, you could drop me and Wade at the trailer. Maybe bring Chef to finish them. We do this now, Ron. All of us. Should the bikers be on bike? I seen some too fast to ride. Can't get their big old gut over the handlebars. <laughs> but if they're in a van, ain't they banners? If we lose these pricks because of you. Get in the truck, man. In the truck, you imbecile. Hurry up. You letting him go on purpose, Trevor? Shut up, Ron! Whoa! There they are. Thought I was gonna let them get away, but this is there. Sit back Stab and city. watch the show, you useless pricks. Go on gun pack, and then they got chucked. Now Trevor is gonna go on his blood feed. Here we go. Warpath. The TV corporation is taking over. This is Berserker mode I told you about. Where he can do double damage and take less damage. But I still gotta use cover. Step right up! Yeah, Step right up! And also incendiary and explosives. Yeah. Understand your pain, friends. I'm here to offer a way out. Yeah. Make it go away. Then we end your suffering. Then we end your suffering. You forget how to you use your horn. Have some respect for pedestrians. Come out and avenge your fallen comrade. I think I'm about to die. I'll tear you apart! Shotgun. And in the I warned Johnny, so and I'll warn you the same! You gotta see you? Come here, I see you. Ooh. Johnny's dead, Terry's dead, Clay's dead, yup! <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Oops. You're fucked. I'm fucking you. First person. Ah. Call it duty style. Look at me and in a motorcycle Step right up! Step right up! Pull the throttle, you pussy! Come on! You hit me. Pull the throttle, you pussy! Come on! Go! 
corporation is taking over. That'll teach ya. Don't worry. Plenty. I see you. This is hard for me too. I've had to kill half the tweakers in the county. There's a lot of close male friendships over here. And suddenly, everything makes sense. Come out and avenge your fallen comrade. I heard that. I warned Johnny, and I'll warn you the same. <laughs> Come out and avenge your fallen comrade. Come here now, end your suffering. Look at that. Anything? Soda? Snacks? No! Get in the fucking truck! <laughs> Wait! What are you still doing here? You said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? And get me some sticky bombs! Man! 
The Aztecas. It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? Huh? One of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the inn. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out. Oops. <laughs> I just hit a deer. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. No! You have been told. I always let you operate. I didn't have to. I think he gets it. We was always cool. Ooh. Think about it. The shot callers ain't gonna be happy. You sure you wanna do this? Oh, that feels better! A little more easy. I guess he don't run nothing no more. With a death blow. Not even his mouth. Not even his mouth. This is an unprecedented... Hold on! This is an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. Calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way! You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am! I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time saying, All is well! Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Downley, yes it is! Oh, you told me about him. Your old running buddy. And who was the other one? Brad was the other one. He's locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? If I knew what happened, I wouldn't be bemoaning these last... I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, some may say... Some may say obsession with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events. That's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! <laughs> Trevor Phillips lives in total squalor. Filth everywhere. Bugs crawling around. Very few psychopaths are neat freaks. Are neat freaks. Seventy percent. Go. 
go to tattoo parlors. Let me go put some clothes on. Speak. You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. <laughs> Change some clothes. We say the game. I can't believe he lives like this. So he's a health hazard. Turn on the television while we're at it. <laughs> Busted one. Let's get tipsy. So this is the in-game television shows. This one is called Impotent Rage. The liberal superhero. Yeah, I do love big, delicious penises. You have to help us, Impotent Rage. We're being oppressed. I've had about enough of your Stone Age outrage. You angry conservatives are all pen up homosexuals yourselves. Hey, but we're not conservatives. We're protesters. There's even commercials. I'm gonna stop at ammunition. This is Trevor's vehicle, the Bodhi. The Canis Bodhi. First, I'm gonna stop at ammunition. And you look at the money I got 108,654. I'm raking in the dough. Trevor has the most money. Right now, we're never gonna find a cab it's out dangerous. here. Are you okay to drive? Hey, hey, you, buddy, can you do us a massive favor? It's the little lady's birthday, and we are really fucked up. Can you drive us back to our motel? Our car's right there. But of course, you two are a hot mess. I love it. You're a legend, bro. Get in the back, couple. out of your way. Baby, don't breathe whiskey on the nice man. So where yeah. can I take you two blacked out young lovelies? We staying at the Hotel Southwest from here. Thank you so much. Drunk. And watch what's about to happen here. You have like the best tits in the whole world. If I didn't have to work for a living, I would just play with them all day. Oh, you're so <laughs> bad. Oh, that's 
tickles. I be. Yeah, you like that? Just wait till we get back to the motel. Mm, I'm gonna get medieval on those puppies. <laughs> Overshare. Watch what they're about oh to god, do. Oh god, you know what that does to me? Shift that sweet little ass over here. Let the wolf see the rabbit. <laughs> you smell like cigarette and buffalo wings. It's making Ugh. me so horny. Come Ugh. on. Give me a slice of that giblet pie. <laughs> they're humping in the car. What the fuck? You're gonna try and show me who's boss. Hey! What are you crazy kids doing back there? I tell you what, while you're sweeping the front porch, why don't I work on your back <laughs> <a plumbing>? <laughs> huh? What did you say? How about I suck those kidney stones right out of your balls, big guy? Get this party really started. Uh, wow, wow, okay, man, it's cool, it's cool. Stop. Yeah, quit the humping in there. Save it for the hotel. Hey, take it easy, will you? Did Girl, I tell you, you this have the alternative the to take them to the Altris I'm cult, so sleepy. Which I yeah, believe yeah, they're cannibals. The motel room. Forty bucks a night. We're gonna get which our. I don't money. mind taking them to the. Go easy on the paint job, man. Oh, oh shut up. Thank you. You're like the best. We've got a little unfinished business to attend to. Oh, good. Keep that to yourselves. Mm. Smells like fishmongers in there. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, speaking of, uh, if I got a... Oh, I don't have... A, what do you call it? Uh, gas can, because I like to douse it with gasoline and burn it. Set it on fire. So this is a clothing store. Sob. You make me look good, my friend. Shut up. So you're up looking for stuff. Okay. How about some pants? Oh, I'm making look good. You're not wearing that shirt, you trailer trash. I would knock you right out. But apparently you can't punch people. It's a piss that fucking fits. Yeah, just have a look around. Okay. Some shoes. Okay. Oh, these pants are horrible. Get some sunglasses. You can actually make Trevor wear a dress. He's described as pansexual. Where you can't decide whether you like relations with men or women. Or both. Please. It's the antithesis of bisexuality, I guess. I'm gonna 
take that. This is going to my garage. I heard that. I gotta find ammunition. Notice how the map is like concealed. Like as you progress in over the terrain, the map becomes ex you know becomes more visible because it's undiscovered territory. Me. Yeah, I like to play hit and run with people on bicycles or other mopeds and just letting them fly right off. It's always funny to me. I'd like to take the time to tell if you are just tuning into my YouTube channel, why don't you do me a solid and like, comment, and subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for some more content like this if you enjoy it. I greatly appreciate it. Stop and get my hair cut. There's a barber shop right here. At a tattoo place. And the tattoo place is over there too. That sex tape of me and my ex almost crashed the site, el juro. Get outside. You looking to get a haircut? Let's see what you like. As I said before, Michael and Trevor have very few selections for hairstyles and beard. Randall, grown out. Mullet, I hate the f mullet. Say the cut. Ugh, Randall is horrible. So we'll keep the hair style. But the beards. The Jerry. Ugh. You know what? Forget Thanks the haircut. For stopping by. Forget the haircut. Let's go get a tattoo. Besides. I got the money. Fuck off. You can interact with people, watch this. I heard that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Looks good. Ahead. Tattoo partner. Thanks. See ya. Here for a tramp stamp? Shut up. I'll give you a tramp stamp. I'll also give you a stump. A face stump. Dump your face in. <laughs> Look at Trevor. Let's give it. I do gang stuff too if you need it. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> These tattoos are awesome and also ridiculous. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. You took that well. Your body is a canvas. Pick some art. Can't go wrong with any of these. How about a teardrop by the eye? Make you look hard. Because you don't get back tattoos. All right. You paid in cash. <laughs> now let's go stop at ammunition. I need some hardware. done now some of these weapons are not available for you to buy just find yet. a better price we'll refund the difference actually forget that no we won't I thought firearms were supposed to be recession proof but I've been hit pretty hard oh yeah I'm gonna waste all my money Seventeen years I've lived in this town, and it still ain't grown on me. Free gun. I'll be honest. Any pride in my work vanished a long time ago. Ooh, I'm getting destitute here, so I better hold on. Sticky geekies. I'm gonna get those later. Have fun. Oh, wait. They've been selling well this year. That's a whole lot of whoop ass right there. Hope that works out for you. Shut up. I think I just blew all my money.
going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K? And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home. Damage my soul. This. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chap wearing fucking assholes. <laughs> They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right? That's better. Run over. <laughs> Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Dude, I'm gonna put this in the garage. See, we can fit the garage. TV. Perfect park. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. That's the chestnut. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? It'll be quiet as a mouse. All right, now, stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes! 
We are! So we're gonna have retaliate against the boss again. They're killing their leader, wiping out most of their members. Come up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Up here! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Really? The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. <laughs> One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. <laughs> Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Uh-oh. They got a guard at the bottom of those steps! Under the control tower! Good kill, Trevor! Hurry it up, Ronnie! Keep it moving. You hear that? I can hear an engine. They'll see that body. Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him. There's one. Come on, man. And there's the other. Come on. Lights off. Good. Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. The man wants to pay his respects. I ain't one to cut that short. Don't joke! You should have seen the look on his face! Wait! A guy came out of the control tower! Get him quick! He's gotta go! And they all came tumbling down. Oh Nine. no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there, amongst the bodies! Clean shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower. Rider. He's probably looking for his buddy. He's seen it. Smoke him. We'll get the others. Woo! Down he goes. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. Get Come your on, man. On me, man. <laughs> I can't move till I'm covered. Let's pick up the pace, Ron. You're in my crosshairs again! And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I can't! There's someone coming out of that building! I can hear him at that far door! Where is he? Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's coming out! Good kill, Trevor! I think I shot him in the groin. A line up.
Sucker. Ooh, wee! Start that plane. I hope there's enough of these guns to go around. Shit! 
suppose there's room for a passenger? Room for him to follow him. The guy who's taking receipt of these guns is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. While the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. Hey, let go, is he? So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or, or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. <laughs> what a cycle. What a cycle, man. Trevor Phillips is born to fight cycle. Me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Well, would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're yeah, braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. The Alamo C. This is the Salton C. IRL.
God damn it! I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now, because we got more runs running. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate or masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> what a creep. You can now purchase various properties throughout San Andreas. Color coded. Stroke master. <laughs> and the properties that you purchase that do it like a weekly a weekly return, they are gonna appeal to the character's taste. In other words, Trevor or Michael is not going to buy a weed shop. <laughs> Some side missions you can do working with Oscar. Oscar Guzman. How much does it cost to buy? $150,000. Don't have the money yet, so. How much did I get paid? Huh? Okay. So let's go. Some, some personality. The 
Let's go. Quick. Damn it. Uh. Damn it. Jesus! Oh. You only have yourself to blame. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> he just doesn't give a damn. Lucky miss! Big star. Time is the right time. If you leave your vehicle out in the street and not in the garage, it'll get impounded. And you either have one or two choices. Pay the fee or break it and steal it. But I think you have to pay the fee. Actually, you have to pay the fee. Like there's no getting around not paying it. Good Lord of us! banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? <laughs> anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh yeah, he seems it. 
，我说人事，你真是太好了啊！你有看《朱家的来分杯》的我，这真是我人生中最美好的一刻。What is wrong with him？ 就是这个，就是这个，来来来来来！ He's a recreational drug user. I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing. Uh, well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Chef. Chef, we're just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute. Shwana! What our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Cheng Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 manners, Shaft. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Chang and his <laughs> humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, whoa. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Apple room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! The tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little spring clean. They really want you dead. Extremely unprofessional. 
sentinel! Out, you cocksuckers! Grenade launcher! Oh, yeah. Party time. Mierda! He got a grenade launcher! Goggles. Ortega's got a big Martin. family! Report. I gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. Oh, hello. Hey, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Oh. I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Stop in ammunition. Barely see the gun icon on the map.
Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All mm -hmm. the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days? Just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. I hate my life. You know things are bad when Ma turns you down for a date. Going fabulous with this one. <laughs> That's you all done. Hope that works out for you. Shut up. One more hit. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sort my life out. He's hitting. He's doing meth while on the John. posters. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. 
Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jiao Why, sir? Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Yep. It's the O'Neill brothers. It's Trevor's competition. Bullshit! So the gun running and drug dealing. Drug supply and drug dealing. So it's time to wipe out the competition. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. <laughs> Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. <laughs> They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats! Oops! <laughs> Almost fell in my truck bed. I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Got them both, almost, I think. I'm in 
gonna kill you! In a meth lab. Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. You gone, fuckers. Now to do the others. Burn you disrespectful pricks.
juntos. The Apex Predator in action. Get back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! <laughs> uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go. Wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. <laughs> I'm joking. You can suck me off. <laughs> oh, dear. Are we going to stop for ice cream? Um, so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I got to make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Where's my vehicle? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! We need some wheels.
people at in Los Santos? You kicked my cousin there. Come on. Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the Lost have descended on this fine town, looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what you, Trevor? I mean, what do you want to, well, send them on their way to, send them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Come good guys? Like flowers or a K? Shut no. up. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, smoke them The last camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place.
up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be Wade! <laughs> Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade! Let's play a game then! You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first! I'm nanotechnology! Uh, you're what? Ooh! Damn it! I gave it away! I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am! I'll start again! Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey! How about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories! Of course you do! This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha! Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. Gee! He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. <laughs> what could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aww. Once again, if you're just joining my YouTube channel and watching this, please do me a favor. If you like what you see, subscribe, like, and comment. That hurt my neck. Subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play walkthroughs such as these. Oh, look, it's almost daylight. Daylight already. Shit, shit, shit. How about that story, Trevor? That's it! That giant sprawl! Los Santos! Oh! Gigi Git! Gigi Git! So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. <laughs> I took off the guy in the bicycle. Oh wait, let's go get out of here. What the fuck? So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! 
Second floor gonna live here. Oh, he is a complete idiot. And Beth must have really, 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 really made him stupid. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this future beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike! Mich Michelle! A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And then... And they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Fuck Trevor, me. or am I missing something? Shut up! <laughs> and then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade, we do not know. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on Icon maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Go straight on here. It looked like the other way on the internet. Go like, what's it called? Left. It's a left up here. Keep it straight now. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere. Here, he's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. 
Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. So this is my new safe house while in Los Santos. Now let's go check on Mike. Is that yours? Of course not. I've only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. <laughs> Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. <laughs> what did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? <laughs> Michael. Hey. It's good to see you, man. Mm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this Graham? Yeah, well... I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. 
One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. <laughs> Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and crap, and a wonderful parent. I can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like pit. You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and... Like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, here it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic. Shit! Pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know. It'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work... I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sir -y. Hurry it up!
Okay, this will be it. The Maze Bank Arena. Let's find them. Here we go. Come on. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. Reserve this. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is the quiet. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that was really stupid. All right, it's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta.
Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus... I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack and jack. What's your talent, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Huh. You proved your point. Huh. This is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh. Pants off. Uh. Uh. Okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on. Lower. Oh, Lower. No. Come on. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. Please, come on, no, get no. off. Take off. Go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Hey, Lester. Mike. Hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store. Take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. Yep, so I finally got the money. 800. Got the money. Let's go check out Franklin. Man, this shit bomb. Yeah, even Franklin got paid. 294,000. Let's go shopping. Hey, man. Hey, I like that vehicle. Give it up. Give it up! <laughs> ah, damn! Wow. You fuckers! Shit Man, work. fuck this shit. This is so bad. I like this. Hello there. Let's go into my garage. <laughs> First, let's buy some clothes. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? These glasses, nah.
Okay, find it, I guess. Twenty dollar shoes. Enjoy. Good choice. All good. We're done here. Okay, we're all done, I think. All yours. Cool. There's like lots of stuff everywhere. Places, I guess, doesn't sell.
That is the Second and First Amendment rolled into one. Some old lady bought my last one. Save the rest of the money. You still owe me a Group sex drug. Let's trail them. Yeah, I'm starving. Let's get this over with.
think it's night time. Well, it looks like that's going to do it. This is the conclusion of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 5, 10th Anniversary Edition, Part 3. I'm your host, Kill the Vid, for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like, subscribe, as I'll be putting more content out this year in 2023 and 2024.